Hi, I'm Mike with SourdoughHome.com and BigWithMike.com and we're up to the last feeding of the sourdough starter in our two and a half day exercise of uh, duplicating Professor Calvell's uh, sourdough starter method. So I'm curious to see how it looks this time and how it smells. Into the proofer. I mentioned this before but I'll mention it again. If you don't have a proofer, you can Put it in the oven with just the oven light on or on top of the refrigerator or any other place in your house that's warm. You want it around 81 degrees and certainly not above 100. Um, if you have a thermometer, you can put it in the oven with the uh, light on and see how hot that gets. Where are we? We're between five and six cups, so it's pretty much doubled. A starter that's this thick doesn't often double unless it's very active. So this is a pretty active starter. Oh, I was going to smell it to see how it smelled this time. Last time it was kind of funky. This time it's better. It's mellowed a bit and should mellow further in the next feeding. One of the nice things about the 81 degree temperature is things happen quickly. So let's dump this out onto a uh, nice baker's parchment. Then we'll go ahead and clean out the container. Come on. That's darker color than the bottom part. I'm sorry? That's a little bit darker color. I mean, the bottom's darker than <laughs> the top? Okay. I, I was just told that the bottom part is darker than the top, and that's not really unusual. Okay, time to go and clean up this mess. I'm sure all of you can quote the quantities I'm using at this point. Uh, 300 grams of starter, 180 grams of water, 300 grams of flour, one gram of salt. It's thick enough this paper wants to come along when I grab the starter. There's about 200 grams. A thick starter like the one we're making tends to rise less than a thin starter. This starter is about 60% hydration or 60% water and 100% flour as baker's percentages go. The ones we usually use are 100% hydration or equal amounts of flour and water. That makes them thinner. This is like a window glazing putty where uh, the 100% hydration starter will flow like a batter. Okay, time to get rid of the mess. Okay, let me get on with it. That's out our 180 grams of water. And stir it up. I think a fork is a better option. This works a lot like a spatula. And it's handy for omelets and such, but less handy for stirring up sourdough starters. Now the salt. And finally our flour. Again, this can be an all-purpose or bread flour. Either will work well. And now we stir it up. Now, in six hours, about 6 p.m. if you keep by our schedule, 
we'll be making some bread with this starter. You might make sure you've got a couple of pounds of all-purpose flour left and the rest of the rye or whole wheat flour you use to start the um, starter <clears throat> along with um, more salt. Okay. And again, unlike before, I was able to get the flour pretty much incorporated without having to dump it out and knead it because the starter is much more liquid than it had been in previous feedings. That's it. We're going to cover it, put it back in the proofer, and in six hours we're going to make some bread. Have a good day.